Norwegian since I was 12. I'm 45 now. 12's early start. Yeah, mate. I moved out of home when I was nine, so had to support myself somehow. <laughs> so, like, you know, it's 13 years since that, mm -hmm. that, was, that legislation went through. I mean, since then, what was it like then compared to now? Now I used to make 900 a night easy. Now I'd be lucky to make three or four. So much harder for you? Yeah, much harder. The clients are much harder and it's much more dicey. They think it's decriminalised. They will do things to try and um, stuff us up, like take us to the police station if we won't give their money back or, um, you know, because they won't get in any trouble. And like, yeah, and the police naturally think we're in the wrong. We, there is a lot of drunks and a lot of idiots, you know, but we manage as long as we stick together and look after each other. We do, like, sort of create this bond as a family and we do keep an eye out for each other. This is where I found my family and this is what I'll call home. Particular individuals will have particular locations that they stand on um, as part of, I guess, their choice. So I think it's just, you know, sometimes first there has it. Um, and of course, obviously, if they go away with a client and then come back, someone else may be sitting in that or standing in that general area. But I'm guessing it's just a sense of of somewhere where people of um, like minds meet. We had three murders in close succession in Christchurch on the street. They were all in totally different circumstances, but it appeared a time that we needed to be able to reach people to alert them to about dangerous clients or even nuisance clients on the street or indoor workers as well. When we want to um, send a message we can decide on whether it goes to everybody or just to um, certain groups and that also includes the police. It's not too bad. Things you get, you get nice people, it's not too bad. Most of them are nice clients. You can pick and choose who you go with. You know, some young fella pulls up. I've had young fellas pull up with, said, we need money, and I said, no. I said, you're too young. <laughs> you could compare it to, like, a performance or something, but then afterwards I was just dancing around high, like, oh my God, I don't know. It was just a really amazing experience a nuts thing to get paid for I guess because it's really rewarding and the people that you see is just so thankful and they enjoy themselves and it's just fun and silly and a lot of the time it just seems like a ridiculous thing to have as a job because you're having a lot of fun. For me despite doing this job sex is important to me, it's a personal thing, it's something I want to do, it's something I love. I can separate the two in my own life. It just doesn't feel like a big deal at work.